Let's talk about physical activity and obesity. As I understand, there must be a balance between energy intake and energy output. You told us during your lecture that energy output physical exercise has decreased during the last decades. Is this true? Yeah, I think uh, we don't have great data, but if you look at how people have changed their occupations and changed the amount of movement in their life, I think we've engineered physical activity out of our life. So I do think that in many populations, we're less active, not because we do less planned activity, because we don't need to move to do the things we do in life. So if physical activity goes down, is energy intake also going down? Is this in balance or is this the reason for the obesity? In, in fact, it's not completely tied together. So you would assume if activity goes down, you just eat less. But in fact, there's a lot of data that at least over the short term, you, uh, physical activity goes down. It's not matched by a decrease in intake. And so that's a situation that leads to weight gain. So I think decreasing physical activity is a risk for weight gain. So you told us 15 calories per day make the difference whether you can get obese in the long term run, yes or no. 15 calories, this is one cookie, is this true? It's very tiny. So the reason that we have this obesity problem is not a huge difference between intake and expenditure. It's this gradual difference that goes on over time. So in the US, over the last few years, the typical American has gained about a half a kilogram a year every year. So it's this gradual weight gain and as little as 15 calories can explain a good part of that weight gain. Okay, what can we do? Increase our activity level. Very simple question. How many minutes are effective to that the balance is again established? How many minutes per day? So that's a tough question to <laughs> answer. More is better. So in the US, what we recommend for most people is 30 minutes a day of a moderate activity. For most people, I think that helps avoid weight gain. If you're losing weight and trying to keep weight off, it's probably more like 60 minutes a day. So it's better to not get obese in the first place because once you're obese, you're gonna have to do more activity to not gain weight after you've lost it than to not gain it in the first place. But on the other hand, if you are obese, it's a little bit difficult to do 60 minutes, at least at the startup. So to obese people, what would you recommend to start up with? I always recommend walking. If Start walking. Walking is a fabulous exercise. Start walking, start walking gradually. Walk a half mile, a quarter of mile, increase over time. Uh, you didn't get obese overnight. You're not gonna get lean overnight. It's important to start increase gradually, and people are amazed that they can work up to an hour a day. But isn't my appetite going up if I exercise more? Absolutely not. That's where the research is pretty strong, that when we take overweight people and get them to exercise, for most of them, appetite doesn't go up and they lose weight. There are a few for which it does, but the majority of the people, when you add exercise, don't compensate on the intake side and they lose weight. So the message is that diet alone is not enough. You have to change your lifestyle, increase your exercise level, and this brings you back into balance or even makes you losing weight. That's exactly right. I think uh, being physically active is the natural situation for humans. Being inactive is the abnormal situation. So if we could get activity up to a reasonable amount, we still have to pay attention to diet. But now you're in a zone where your body's working with you to help maintain weight. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.